I know, little buddy. We're almost there. I know you don't like moving vehicles, but you're doing so well. You did very well on the flight from Afghanistan, too. You managed to get some sleep, <laughs> unlike me. <sighs> I can't wait to get home. Out of all the presents I bought for her, I know she'd rather see me instead of opening them, but... Oh, my wife is going to love you. We thought about getting a puppy many times before I was deported. I'm so lucky to have found you. If anyone is going to bring the loving glow in my wife's eyes, it's you, little fella. <laughs> yes, sir. This is the house. Yes. Thank you. For everything. You see that, boy? That's your new home. Yep. We're going in right now. My gosh, the living room is full of Christmas this year. Oh my god, these ornaments. Most of them are mine from when I was a kid. She knows I'm coming home tonight, but I didn't think she'd do this. Oh, I remember this one. This was the first ornament that she and I made at Michael's when we prepared for our first Christmas. She was so into snowmen. I couldn't refuse. The glitter kind of fell off over the years, but it's still so cute. Okay, little guy. I'm gonna go get her. You hide in here until I get you. It won't take long. Just stay there. Baby. Wake up, sweetie. Baby, how can you welcome me home when you're sleeping? <laughs> yes, I'm home. <laughs> oh. oh, God. <laughs> I missed you so much. Mm. Mm, I know. It's the middle of the night. My flight landed an hour ago. It was supposed to be tomorrow, but I did a little convincing to change my schedule. I couldn't go without missing Christmas morning. That would be... unacceptable. And now, I can finally make my wife happy. There's no other reason. <laughs> yes, I missed home. But you're my home, sweetheart. I wanted to come home to you. Oh, I told you to stay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he was supposed to be a surprise. I know you'd love him, babe. <laughs> I found this little guy while I was on duty. He was sleeping under a foundation of an abandoned building of a bombing site. Poor little guy was starving. No mama or little mates in sight. We tried training him, but he was too scared. So, I thought he would make a perfect Christmas present. Of course I remembered. That's not a conversation that's easy to forget. There was never a day, or a moment when I didn't think of you. Even when I wanted to run away from everything, I thought of you and fought for the country I love so much. I wanted to give us a future. And I came back to keep that promise I made on our wedding day. I still have the ring to prove it. Mm. Merry Christmas, darling. <laughs> we'll open presents in the morning. For now, I just want to lay with you again. Uh, just for a few hours. No, dogs don't sleep in people's bed, boy. <laughs> All right, boy. If she says you can, then you're lucky. This is not going to be for the rest of the dog's life thing, is it? He's going to get bigger, honey. Soon enough, we won't have enough bed left. 
Actually, I have some puppy things in the car, but yes, we gotta find a bed. Once we celebrate Christmas, yes. Christmas always comes first. I love you so much. I'm so glad to be home.